Hey going guys, Mark here from DNA Paints. On this video, I'll be talking all about shimmering metal flake and the three ways to mix it and apply it. Now, shimmering metal flake comes in 27 different colors and three different sizes, 100, 200, and 375. Now, if you want something a little bit bigger in silver, don't worry, I've got you covered. We've got a, a shimmering metal flake in 1550 microns, so quite a lot larger than 375 and a hell of a lot bigger than 100 microns. So the three ways of mixing up your shimmering flake and applying it is one, in your clear coat. The only problem with that is, is that if you don't put enough flake into the mix of the clear, and you're trying to achieve a lot of flake on your part of project, you're gonna be applying multiple coats of clear, which could result in getting solvent boil on your part of project. Now, solvent boil, if you're unfamiliar with what that is, I'll make a separate video on that at a later date, so stay tuned. Okay, so the second way of mixing up the metal flake is by adding it into a FX intercoat. Now, FX inner coat is mixed one to one with a base coat reducer, and it's basically a clear base coat. So ideally, when you're applying it, you wanna be allowing 10 to 15 minutes between coats to let the solvents gas out, um, and that will reduce the chance of getting any solvent entrapment in your job. Now, ideally, when you're adding the flake into your FX inner coat, or even into your clear coat, you wanna be putting it on a set of scales and using the spoon inside the tub of flake to get a accurate measurement. And uh, it's also very easy to replicate uh, a job if you're painting parts off the car, etc. Okay, our third way of uh, applying our metal flake is by putting it into our DNA paint dry flake gun. Now, I'll put a link in your top right hand side of the screen right now. Um, now that is a video all about our flake gun. Uh, go check that video out if you wanna know more about our DNA paint dry flake gun. Okay, so let's say that you've used FX Intercoat. Um, what you wanna try and do is agitate that gun when you're not spraying or put the gun on its side, because what actually happens is the metal flake in the Intercoat actually settles and it will block up your fluid tip on your spray gun. Okay, so the gun of choice is the Welcome uh, 360 Light, and uh, I've got that in 1.4. Okay, so let's say that you're painting a large panel or even a full respray. There's two ways of applying it. Uh, so you can basically walk from headlight to tail light up and back, um, and focusing on those 50% overlap, so you're getting an even coverage of metal flake over the whole uh, project. Now the other way is by taking it panel by panel or section by section down the car. Now ideally what you want to be doing is flicking the gun at the end of each pass so you don't get a big build up, a big line of metal flake on one of your panels. Okay, so you've finished flaking out your job. Now two coats of diamond clear is enough uh, to basically cover that metal flake. 
Um, now, also keep in mind that if you've got some loose particles of flake on your panels, uh, using an air blower, uh, you can usually blow those off. Or if you've got flake standing up on its end, not laying down flat, that air blower will actually lay them back down, allowing you to put your clear coat on over the top and not have any uh, flake particles poking up through the surface of your clear. All right, so depending on uh, what size flake you put on your job, uh, flow coating may be required in order to get that dead flat finish uh, once flaking out your job. 